So, I am moved to Austin. I did. I um, am still adjusting because it's been less than a week. And I've also, this is my second time moving in a year. So I feel like I'm adjusting to not having really settled anywhere in about, you know, a year and a half. Like not feeling settled. But also kind of um, keeping my mind open on what that's doing for me. Like when you don't have familiar surroundings to you, it kind of exposes you to all of the things that you're repressing or, you know, even all the great things about you that maybe you repress when you are in a comfortable environment and vice versa. Um, but it has this way of holding a mirror up to you. But I will say, besides that, it's very nice to, to finally be here because I was supposed to move here in my first move. And my boyfriend and I, just for some reason, we kept avoiding it. And so we moved to North Carolina. And then we were like, no, we gotta, like, we wanted to go here, we gotta go here and at least experience it fully. And then we can, you know, figure out if we like it, if we wanna stay, if we wanna go, whatever. Um, but as someone who has moved a bunch in the past year, I did want to express the importance of not, the importance of not believing that change is like change in a physical thing, like environment, um, maybe you change your diet, maybe you change your routine, all these different things that that physical change is the actual stimulus for your growth. I actually don't think that's true. Um, I think that it's more so physical change can help you see past your current perspectives because it's thrown your nervous system off. Like you haven't experienced, like I haven't experienced living in Austin, Texas before. So my whole nervous system is like, whoa. And I'm naturally, my, my perspective of my life and my environment is naturally more open because I'm trying to collect more data, <laughs> basically is my assumption on what my body and my mind is doing on my new environment. And therefore I'm not as rigid in my viewpoints. Same with when you're trying um, a new diet to see how it makes you feel. Um, it's like you're, you're not too quick to judge it because you're trying to leave your, yourself open to the fact um, to that this might make you feel a different way or better or worse or whatever. Um, and you're just not too quick to assume things about yourself or your environment when you have a physical thing that you're changing. So that's what that's something that's been in my mind a lot because it's so easy to be like, oh my God, I'm gonna move and I'm gonna be a whole new person. And it, it's like, for me, I have to remember that in every single moment, I can be a new person. It's not dependent on something outside of me changing. That might help, right? Like that, that makes my mind feel like it's easier, but I actually don't need it. And I think it's something important to talk about. So yeah, but I am, I, I am really enjoying my time here so far. Like I'm on the first floor so I can just walk right outside. I've been training my cat to go on the leash, which has been interesting because there are so many dogs here. Everyone has a dog here. And um, I'm right by the water, which is all I really wanted, uh, which I didn't have access to in the last city we lived in. There just was no water through it. So um, I just need, I'm remembering to take advantage of all these things and not let them, I don't know, not let them just turn into the regular bleh of everyday life. So. That's where I'm at. And I guess we'll see where this goes. So.